I'm Sir SirTapTap and welcome to Let's Play Adventures of Pip. A review of this game is provided by TikTok Games, the developer. We're going to take a sort of quick look at it. I'll just let this opening cinematic play here. I don't mind cutscenes, but I would like to be able to sort of manually advance it. This is a little slow for, at least for my reading speed, but whatever. Let's just sit back and watch it, shall we, Parker? Every freaking time I record, he just has to come up here. I don't know if he thinks I'm talking to him, so he wants to come hang out. What do you think, Parker? Hmm? Hmm? So there's gonna be lots of pixely stuff. And the game integrates the pixel stuff pretty well, in my opinion. It's, uh... It doesn't just feel tacked on. I like Queen Derezia. She has lots of nice little puns. We'll get to see more of her later. Also, there's this interesting mixing of different, like, pixel sizes for the different people. Like, there's Pip, our hero, is the one pixel tall here. There we, there he is. Then there's people that are sort of like. Atari, like, super crazy, exaggerated, pixelated. And then there's just, like, normal looking 16 bit esque pixel guys. Loading! So, this game came out first for PC and Wii U, so you can also already buy it on those. I think it's coming to Xbox One as well. It's on, I'm reviewing on PlayStation 4. It has a mobile version too. Um, I wanted to give the developer props for it. They price it full price on mobile instead of, you know, oh, you can buy this game, you know, 75% cheaper if you buy it on mobile. It's like, no, you just, if you want to buy the game, it is $15. It doesn't matter what platform you want. I prefer that, because it's a little weird to see, like, I, don't know, I just don't like it when games had completely different prices for the exact same content on different platforms. So yeah, we can glide. I sort of ignored the tutorial here. I'll just continue ignoring them. But yeah, the in this pixel form we can glide. Parker, please don't rub the microphone. If you hear weird sounds, it's just Parker making out with the microphone. Yeah, each of our forms has different abilities, Parker. So yeah, the main advantage of pixel form here is that it's very small and very mobile. No attacks at all, except for the ability to jump on things' heads. Also, these little pixels we pick up are basically our currency. Got another little cutscene here. I like the lady of my resolution, though. I like Derezia. Let's go be your friend. Bye! There we go. You got anything else to say? No, you don't. <laughs> Bye, dead guards. Oh, so the game's made in Unity, surprisingly. Um, Unity does do 2D, so I mean, it's not super surprising. Um, I've heard mostly bad things about how Unity handles 2D, so... A little impressed that I don't see any apparent performance or visual issues with it. What do you have to say, sir? Don't call me a rhombus. I'm... Ugh. Some people these days. Well, bye, city. So I've got our little world map here. And you can zoom out and see we've got like five worlds here. Parker, keep your foot off the keyboard. I'm pretty sure he's ruined at least one of my recordings by bumping something on the keyboard. I had one where my voice was like, it recorded my voice in like 90% times so it was like all slowed down and didn't match up with the video and I had to get rid of that recording 
Parker happened to be bumping the keyboard a lot during that recording, so... Yes, I said your name. You can be annoying, you know that, Parker? He's just glaring at me. I should do, like, live streams, and instead of having, like, a face cam, I just have a cam of Parker, like, breaking everything in the house while I try to play video games. Because that is exactly what happens at all times. Whee! Hi, Drizia. Can we be friends? Friends. Friends? Friends! Oh, I'm starting to get the impression that she doesn't want to be friends. Pip pip. I like these big dead bug things. I love little background details like that. Hi, dead guy. So this guy killed the beetles, apparently. Whee! So this is the main gimmick of the game. We can turn into higher res versions of ourselves with different abilities. I actually played a different game that does something kind of like this. Well, I guess it's not an entirely unique idea anymore, I mean. Um, but... There's also Life of Pixel that's sort of like a... History lesson of a bunch of different... Computer and game console systems from the 80s and 90s. And In this form we can double jump, that's all that sign is going to tell us. So as you go through, we unlock villagers um, just by touching them. And there's lots of little secrets. This is our first little secret. Also, if we jump up here, we see... Oh! Isn't that suspicious? I actually found this before seeing that hint, but it's a nice little hint. I think any time there's those little holes in the wall, there's a secret over there. I didn't play super far. I been meaning to just sort of get back in the habit of recording, so I'm gonna do more quick look things and less, you know, review. Ow, ow, get out of the. Oh, let's see the. No! Ugh. Items despawn very quickly in this game. I was never a big fan of that, like, back when games had actual memory limitations, and so I'm not really a huge fan of pickups disappearing, especially that fast. But, uh,. I think we learned the next thing about this gimmick here soon. So, wait, what was I talking about? I was talking about a thing, and then I got- oh yeah. So I'm probably just gonna do a bunch of quick looks at stuff, just to get back in the hang of things this week. But, uh, this game looked quite fun, so once we're in this form, we can de-res at any time. We can't re-res at will, though. Like, I can't- I'm pressing all the buttons. We can't just magically transform back. We need to kill one of these thingies. That are all like special bitstream, whatever the hell. And then we get back to this form, which can double jump. Doesn't jump as high. So you need to manage your form to get a bunch of the special extra stuff. There's three villagers in every level. Certain villagers have special abilities like the uh, merchant. Uh, you can probably guess what he does. He sells things. Sir Elwyn! I'm very good at being still alive. Well, I could use the bathroom, but you know... Whatever, sure. Just ignore my needs, Pip! <laughs> so yeah, end the stage pretty standard progression where you can pretty much teleport around and we got perfect yay um, teleport around find the secrets in each area the people are basically your secrets the people and money we can go we'll visit the merchant I don't think we can actually buy anything but we'll see his wares The merchant's kind of animated, weirdly. But yeah, so we've got uh, potions, things to help you out. Like, pretty sure all of these, except for the heart container, are consumable. Um, it's not like Shantae's power-ups, actually. 
yeah, I don't have enough money for anything, but yeah, you can buy some nice little temporary power-ups, or of course, health-ups. I was kind of hoping this game would play more like, um, Wonder Boy and Monster World for Genesis. Man, that series is a complete mess. Like, I never remember which game is which in that series. Wonder Boy and Monster World, I'm pretty sure, is the one that was on Genesis and is my favorite. It's like, a, It's kind of like a good... Well, a better, a much better Zelda 2 without the experience system. And you just buy life ups and stuff and find secrets and... It doesn't have the overworld segments, it's all platforming stuff. It was one of the... One of my favorite games I've discovered on the Virtual Console for Wii. Because, like... I had a Sega Genesis, but I didn't have as many games for it as I had for my play as for my uh, Super Nintendo. Because the only game magazine we got most of the time was Nintendo Power. So while I had a Genesis and a Dreamcast, I almost never knew what games to get for them that weren't called Sonic. So I mean, I had a few, but especially for the Dreamcast, I just had very few games. I kind of regret that because it turns out the Dreamcast had tons of good games, though I was a bit young for some of the more. Like Shenbui and stuff, but uh... all right, we can break vines. That's all that tells you. And we can butt slam. I think this guy's a little slower than normal Pip, rather than like whatever Pip here. I'm not sure what to call this Pip because he's. Not quite 8-bit, but like, the one after it is clearly intended to be 16-bit, like, I don't know. Bits are weird. Yum. It's so incredibly rare to see 8-bit used properly. Yoink. So you'll see lots of things like that. Uh-oh. Where you need to take the secret path to get the, uh, little duders. The villagers, I guess. Also, does the. You jump higher off the enemies' heads. I think it. There was a tutorial I ignored earlier that tells you that. I like how this game does the tutorials with the little signs, because it doesn't get it in your way a second playthrough, but. It gives you all you need for the first playthrough as well, so it's sort of best of both worlds. And I like, I prefer when a game, you know, teaches you mechanics one by one. I've been going through my backlog of review codes and bundle games, and there's a lot of indie games that just throw every single control at you right at the beginning. Like just a, a screen overlay tutorial, it's like, oh, you press this button to do this, and this button to do this, and it's like... And like, they don't even have you actually press the buttons, they just tell you, and it's like, it's a lot to take in, and kind of gives me a headache. So yeah, this form jumps higher, so you have to transform into here. Parker is completely unable to sit still right now. So yeah, the general flow is, you know, like an old 16-bit platformer where you go through, you get all your little, you help all your peoples, and you continue on. The secrets get a bit more devious, um, I believe this is the first area I died in the game. Just because you have to do that, use that glide properly. Also, I think part of it was to, oop, due to not being in this form when I needed to do that jump. Also, I think you can derez in mid-air without falling, like I think he stops. I'll, let me try that out as soon as I find one of them these. Yeah, so you can derez at any time, like, without, you know, worrying that you're gonna die in midair. Um, which way do we go? I'm always paranoid when there's multiple branches, because I don't want to go the right way, because there might be secrets the wrong way. Anyway, video games have destroyed my mind like that. Boink! I'm pretty sure that top way is the, you know, non-secret way we could have gone earlier. Yoink! Yeah. 
So that's pretty much the main gameplay flow, and of course, the game introduces more stuff as you go on. Let's break that. I think I still need to build wall jump. Uh, there we are. And has nice little scenery changes every. Not sure how many levels are in our world. Wait. No. This is one of those games where I'll be poking at all the walls for secrets. Like, right? No? Hmm. Okay. I want that chest. Right. There we go. Okay. Ooh! Hey. What? Oh, that was just an alternate path. Okay. That's interesting. Uh-oh. Got auto-movie things. Oh, and Pip is also shorter. I think we had to de-res earlier because of that. But Pixel Pip... There we go. Wow, I missed two people. That's sad. So already they're getting a little more challenging with the townspeople. Let's speak at one more level. Rude. Think you're better than me just because you have more pixels? Well, you're right, but you still suck. What a jerk. Secrets? Yeah, I saw your little grass tuft there. You can't hide from me. Trees! I always love silly things like exploring giant trees and stuff. That looks dangerous. Boink! Ah, uh, the classic. Oh, look over here, there's a secret thingy. Gotta find that fat guy. The fat guy looks like he might be one of our merchants for the town. Bink. Hmm. Boop. Ah. So you can't wall kick off of the ice. It's a fairly common thing. It's not like wall jumps really make sense to begin with, so I'm not really sure why icy wall kicks are obviously no-goes, but whatever. Hmm. Hang on. Hmm, nope, can't get up there. I have a feeling we missed that fat guy, but whatever. That's what replays are for, I guess. I'm so sorry about the sound. I hate when games do that, have the, you know, a constant noise for low health. I don't mind when it, like, I think the more recent Pokemon games will have it so, like, oops, that could have been bad. Um, you hear it at first, but then it stops in a few minutes or something, or not minutes, like seconds. Oop, I see you, secret. See, the game's being way less obvious about secrets already. But, like, that's one of the worst parts of old Zelda games. Actually, new Zelda games still do it. It's really crazy annoying. Uh-oh. There we go. Ah, now we have to suffer again. 
Yeah, the constant noise. There we go. Thank you. It's like... And sometimes it's the point where, like, I'd rather die than, you know, keep dealing with the sound. Ah, no! <sighs> also, I find it annoying that- ah, oh, crap. Checkpoints heal you the first time, but not the second time. Because I- ah, oh, damn it. Whatever. Just kill me. Not worth dealing with the sound. Drink. Alright, let's do this right this time. Ah. For Pete's sake. Okay, you need to be a pixel for that one. But I'm pretty sure there's no reason to not be a pixel the entire way through this, so... I should probably just do that. Oh. Ball kicks, right. Okay. Do it your way, game. Oh, you can stop yourself. Interesting. You just hold up and stay there. I think, um... What was it? Um... They Bleed Pixels also does that. Let's get out of here. I don't even want that pixel. It's not delicious enough to be worth the pain. The horrible pain of that sound. I don't think this is worth it. I don't think there's any reason to do that. Treasure! Don't push the pixels into the wall! You jerk. Oh god. Oh god. We don't need that chest. We don't need it. Alrighty. I was kind of hoping we would see that night dude get de -rezzed or something. We'll take one, we'll just take a peek at the first screen of this next level in case it's something neat. It's Street Parker! It's destroying everything in the house with his tail. But yeah, this is Adventures of Pip. It's on PlayStation 4s, PACs, Xbox Ones, mobile thingies. It's on all of the things, pretty much. 